Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Thank you all for being here today. Um, Professor Goodwin, help me understand your point of view. Um, I think this is a yes or no question. Do, do you support um, it being legal to abort an unborn uh, child up to the moment of birth? Senator Kennedy, it is not a yes or no question. I support women like Ms. Zorowski. Women no, ma'am, no, ma I, I don't, I, I, I think it is a yes or no question. No, well, if, let if, me answer. If there were a law that's, I'm just trying to understand your perspective, and I'm not accusing you of this. Of course but, not. But, but, you know, people sort of talk around this issue. If there were a bill that said that a, a woman has an unfettered right to abort an unborn baby for any reason up to the moment of birth, would you vote yes or would you vote no? Senator Kennedy, I refuse to be shackled by your question. What you, I have answered is that there are conditions you, that you, you occur during pregnancy. You don't know whether you would vote yes or no? There are conditions during pregnancy that mean after 10 weeks, no, 14 I said unf weeks, I said 20 weeks, discretion. 24 weeks, you, you conditions would, you such would as Ms. Zorowski. You're here and advocating. I would, support, I would support her life. You, I, I would support I would her too, personhood. But, but you're advocating a law. I support her personhood. You're advocating a law that says that an unborn baby can be aborted up to the moment of birth for any reason. Are you not? Let me clarify what the 14th Amendment says in the first sentence, that citizens of this United States are individuals that are born. That is what our Constitution says. But, but Do you why support won't you answer my question, Professor? I'm not trying to argue. I just want to understand what your position is, and I think you're afraid to say that you do support that. If you do support it, I think you, for just for the purpose of an of a intellectual discussion, you ought to just say so. For purposes of an intellectual discussion, I'm happy to have that with you. But well, that's could not you the answer tone my, of Could you answer my question? Do you support, please? I mean, you teach. Okay, I'm sure you've had students ask this question. Do you, support, do you support making it legal to abort an unborn baby for any reason, any reason, up to the moment before birth? Senator, let's have that intellectual discussion that okay. you want. We could start if you'd answer and, my question. I can't go well, to my next question until you answer that question. Well, I want you to be able to go to your second well, and your third answer questions. I do. But as I have explained, there are many different conditions. No, I said unfettered discretion. No conditions. No. I'm making it easy for you. Well, I have already shared with you, okay. Senator, that I support women's personhood. I get it. I don't want to use all my time. You're not going to answer it, Ms. and that is your right. But I would, I would respect you more if you just say, I, here's I'm my answer. I'm sorry that you don't respect I me do very respect much. I do respect you, but I said I'd respect you more if you just <laughs> answer my question. Doctor, tell me how to say your last name. Ms. Dr. Rubenhorst, uh, do you support a law that would allow for any reason, unfettered discretion, the the uh, uh, the, the the abortion of an unborn child up until the moment of birth. No, you don't, Dr. Verma. Senator Kennedy, so I'm the one person, in, one doctor in this room that does provide abortion care, and I can tell you that does not reflect the reality of abortion no, I'm, care. I understand. I'm just it asking just, the question. It simply doesn't. But do happen. you support it? There there are bills before Congress that will allow that to happen. That's. You don't support it, or are you going to be a so not again, answer my the, question? As the doctor in this room who does provide abortion care, that is not how abortion care in this country works. It's a hypothetical that does a disservice to our But if a patient to came patient, to you and said, uh, I, I'm going to probably have a baby this week, and I've changed my mind, and I would like you, doctor, to abort the child, would you do it? That is not how abortion care in but this if, country works. But if works. a patient did, would you do it? 
My job as a doctor is to look at each okay. individual situation. I mean, I'm I have sorry, never... I don't mean to be rude, but I can tell neither you or the press professor will answer my question. I, have I think never... you both have an opinion, and I don't understand why you won't share it. I have We're going to solve provided... this problem. I've doctor, provided care doctor, for a few could, years, and you? I've never you... seen that situation. Could, how about you, Doc? Would you? Do not support unfettered abortion. And I would like to point out that if a woman did have a life-threatening condition in pregnancy past approximately 22 weeks, that baby can be delivered alive by induction or C-section, and we can try to save that baby. The intent of abortion is a dead baby, and that is not necessary in that situation. I mean, I want you to all understand where I'm coming from. This is a tough issue. And it's a tough issue because some, there's some tough questions we've got to answer. And when you won't answer the questions, when you're invited by the, my Democratic friends, the majority, and you won't answer the most fundamental question, we've got a bill in front of us that will basically say a, a woman has the unfettered right to abort at any time for any reason up to the moment of birth. And that's a gut check issue. And I would expect you as experts to answer that truthfully, how you do it. Thank you for your indulgence, Mr. Chairman. Senator Ossoff. Uh, 